Hi, I'm Elizabeth and I'm really excited to be on site today with GeoBear, the UK's leading subsidence repair company. Now GeoBear are a ground repairing contractor and today we're going to give you a walkthrough experience to see what happens on site when repairing a property with structural movement or what most people would refer to as subsidence. Now, traditionally, the only real way of fixing subsidence was with traditional underpinning. This would require weeks and weeks of building works and would be a whole load of mess. But that type of underpinning really is a thing of the past, as with GeoBear, they're able to inject an expansive material called a geopolymer directly beneath the foundations into the problem area and it's usually done and dusted within a day's work. Amazing, hey? Let's head on site and have a little look around. So subsidence or structural work can have a number of different causes. Sometimes the soil beneath the property can be clay, which can shrink in dry weather, causing the buildings to sink slightly. This can then show up in cracks in the brickwork, like these ones here. Tree roots can play a big part too. During the dry summer season, their thirsty roots can grow aggressively beneath foundations, taking all the moisture from the soil. Another common problem can be drainage, and this is what was the issue at this property here. Now, unfortunately, when GeoBear did a drain survey, it came back with several large cracks in the drains below where I'm stood. They then fixed those cracks, which prevented further water leakage. Now the water had been leaking for quite some time which caused the grounds to really sink and unfortunately that happened in this corner right here. The drains were fixed last week, ready for GeoBear to start their work today. So I'm going to have a little chat with Craig to see how easy that process was. Okay, so today we've got Craig from Plum Drain with us on site. Uh, Craig, you spotted quite a few defects within the drains a few days ago when you were here. Tell us the process behind it and, and how you did the works. Yeah, the process is uh, GeoBear instructs us to come out, uh, check the drains out prior to them doing their treatment work. Okay. If we do find any defects, we have to um, fix them prior to them starting because the, the treatment process involves a material that can ingress into the drains. Right, okay. Um, so what so, did you find? So what we found is multiple cracks throughout the system. So we installed four patch liners and then two spot dig repairs, which only took a day. Brilliant, so it's a really easy process yeah. then. Yeah. Very easy for the client as well. Minimal mess. I know there's just this one point that yes. you said. This, this, this point is only for access. So it's access for us to, it allows the camera to go into the drain and we can survey throughout their treatment process to make sure that their material doesn't ingress into the drain. Great, great. Okay, well let's have a chat to the team uh, around the corner and see what's going on with the injection points. Dom, how are we getting on? I'm okay, thanks. Everything's going well. Good. So we've got Dom here today who is Senior Technician at GeoBear. Dom, tell us what happens um, when you first get to site. So basically, we come to site, we do a pentrometer test, that'll determine the depth of the good ground. Okay. Once we get a, a reading of what, uh, what depth we need to go to, we'll insert the tubes. On this one, we're going to three meters depth. So we inject directly under the foundation. For every job, the technical teams will have an engineering design to follow. This informs them where to inject, to what depth, and what quantity of material to use. The team then use laser monitors to verify the building is stable. What we do then is we set the laser up, put sensors on the wall, and I just keep injecting until I get a reaction on the wall. Okay. So once they go to, to one mil, they're set to zero. Once they go to one mil, we know the ground's consolidated and we've supported the building. Brilliant. So these are the sensors here. Yep. And your laser's over here. And so these um, tubes that you said you've got, how, how kind of simple and easy is it to, to get the injections going? It's pretty easy. I mean, once we get the drilling, the drilling done and we put the tubes in, yeah. it's just basically an injection process. We keep putting the material in so we get a reaction on the wall. And how long does that take, roughly? It depends uh, on the, the ground. If the ground's good, it's usually a quick reaction. So we just basically keep going until we get the reaction. 
But once once we're done, we complete we just chop the tubes and then the job's complete. Brilliant. So would you say like roughly on average, most jobs are done within a day? Within a day, definitely within a day. Amazing. So for a client, it's so much easier than than previous. Oh, and, def and yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Because we can come in and out in a day. Yeah. And once we're done, you won't even know we've been. And what about for injection points if you need them inside the building? Is that the same? Same process. If it's got floorboards, we remove all the floorboards, do the same injection process. Once it's done, chop the tubes and then put the floorboards back. And off you go. And off we go. Brilliant. Job complete. Well, that's a pretty easy process. Um, thanks very much for talking okay. to me, Dom. I'll let you uh, all right, get back onto work. So it really is that simple. All works will have been completed within 24 hours and the groundwork significantly strengthened. Not only is it cost effective, it's also extremely well priced. Plus, you'll get an insurance backed guarantee and a certificate of structural adequacy for the works. Two extremely important documents if you come to sell your property. For more information on GeoBear, please head to the website or you can check them out on their YouTube channel.